Hi guys, Max again from Hella Goodman, Belgium. In this video, I want to show you a quick overview of the Hella Goodman S20 and all the diagnostic functions. So, after selecting the car, we're gonna read out some fault codes. We have to deactivate the diagnostic filter and then we can look at some parameters and some actuators. So, here you have the fault code menu. You can check out all fault codes with a global scan or you can just scan one ECU. Oh, so you get directly an idea of the problems that are in the ECU. For example here, lining replacement mode, active brake lining change mode. So that was from some previous work we did on the car where we activated the brake caliper. Now let's check out some parameters. For example, here in comfort, driver door, we can access the ECU and check if all uh, sensors work the correct way. So here you have to select what parameter you want to see. Here the device always will do a proposal. And then when we do activate, you can check and see if the engine is well working and if the button is well working. Now, what do we have here? Here's the button to change the way of displaying the parameters and there's even a third function where we don't have any graph you only get the values so during a test drive for example you can deactivate some of the parameters so you only keep the parameters that are really interesting that's done with the little cross here and you can print out whatever you have uh, have examined and the the pdf will automatically automatically will be printed to your email so this is parameters you have a little search bar here that's a new thing for the s20 and the megamax s uh, x i will want to say all their devices didn't have this search bar and that's a real convenient little function so you can you can look uh for example door or when i'm in engine i can look up temperature or pressure it's a really handy little function so enough about parameters here you see all the ecus you can access or powertrain for example high voltage even you can access all these little parameters even a trip meter is available where you can check all the kilomet all the mileage or the kilometers in stored in the different ECUs. So you can check if all ECUs are well coded and if there isn't any malfunctioning ECU because they changed it with a second hand one. So what do we have here? We have actuators. So here we can activate a function like the mirror heating, lift power window, lower power window. I don't know if you can hear it, but here the windows goes up and down. Locking. So you see, you can check all of these functions with the device during your, your diagnostic. This is a really handy function. You can use it before dismantling all of the covering and checking if the engine is broken. 
So what's next? We have some basic settings where you can deactivate the diagnostic filter. You can do a bleeding of the system, the brake system or the cooling system. What do we have? Special bleeding that's here for the brake system. So this is a really easy menu because you have one list. There's no two, three, four, ten menus. No, there's one list and all the special functions are right here. So what's next? Coding. Coding for this car, we can register the battery. We can do some simple coding and we can code a hitch, a trailer hitch. We have some test functions where you can check the engine oil pressure. So this is handy when the car loses oil or consumes oil. And last but not least, we have the service reset, where we get some little explanation on how to complete the digital service manual. And here you have the specific service resets. So let's check it out. Here you have some information. What service interval reset you want to do. And here we can reset the maintenance oil two years we can check it out right here so if you can see in the car service and you in 25,000 kilometers well if we do this one and now it's on 30,000 and 730 days so, this was it for a short video about the Megamax S20. See you later for the next one.